I'm a, I'm about to make a big purchase here, and I'm a little nervous. Uh, I ain't flexing on anybody. That ain't what they say about flexing. Here it goes. So it's a dollar seventy a liter. I'm at an eighth of a tank, which I never get that low, but I'm at an eighth of a tank. This is about to hurt, and not in a good way. A lot of y'all think I wear a tinfoil hat. I know my family thinks I wear a tinfoil hat. Pretty much wore the old one out. Time to get a new one. So yesterday we took off to uh, Superstore in Windsor to try and find some meat. As you know, that's all going up too. Uh, here's a look at that. We made it to Superstore in Windsor. We're going to go in and check some prices. We're going to get some meat and some other pasta. Uh, but if you guys, probably in your area, the prices have all gone up. Here in Canada, they've gone up as well. So let's go in and have a look. Lean ground beef, family size or club size. 26, 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 chicken breasts, 30 bucks. So Folgers Coffees, 11.49. Maximum Host, 7.99. Coffee's not gone up a whole lot. If at all. Okay. All right, and as you can see, food prices have gone up, gas prices have gone up, electricity's gone, up, everything's gone up, but the wages and. Uh, Clearly, I am in need of a new Tim Fall hat because my other one, like I said, is wore out. Ooh, we want a difference. A day makes. We've had nothing but rain, rain, rain. I'm taking them gas prices. I'm taking them food prices. I'm not going to talk any more about that. It's just going to make me mad. So now that I'm back home, i got to finish working on the composter. You know, so I put that black tarp around the black roofing paper around the inside of the composter. Nah, don't do that. It doesn't last. It's no good. Doesn't matter whether you staple it, screw it. Doesn't matter. It's not going to work. We need screws. Doesn't look good. All right, these are going to do. Anyway, I got some plywood outside here. We're going to go through it. I got some three eighths. I think I got some half inch. We're going to cut three sides. The front's already got the face on it. We're gonna cut three sides. Here, I'll take you and show you. By the way, you were sitting on a sledgehammer. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so here's how our composter is looking. See, I got this tarp paper, roofing paper all the way around. It just falls off, right? So, this old backyard is covered in grass seed, but it has rained for the past three days. It's probably all swimming. This is, plywood so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece right here I'm gonna cut me out three pieces screw it along the inside along the bottom that should alleviate anything trying to come in and I ain't gonna mess around with that paper falling off I should have done that in the first place I tried to shortcut it with the roofing paper no shortcuts. Anyway, we get that cut. We're gonna be at 26 and 5 eighths across the back. Across the sides, we're gonna be about 53 and a half. Give or take a tick.
dumb idea. <laughs> dumb idea. Excuse me. That back piece was like it was meant to be. That works better. See, that's, this is just a lot better than the tar paper. Last thing I want to do is I want to take these here braces off and put sort of a top on. Not to cover the whole thing, just a little bit to keep a lot of the rain out. I'm not sure why I put that on there anyways, but... I did. All right, so this is what we're looking at now. We got the wood all the way around. I got a broken screw back there. And a little bit of a roof, not much. Still want a little bit of rainwater to get in there, but we don't want it soaked. So Jen wanted the top, so that's what we got on there. So I'm gonna push some of this around. Oh, while I'm at it, I got a bag of sawdust I gotta put on there. Yes, sawdust in your compost, folks. Don't know that I'm gonna do this one-handed. Filming everything on the GoPro today. I'm trying something different, so hopefully it'll work out. See, I didn't want to have to undo the zipper. All right, so now we'll just leave that there for a while, just where it is. I'll come out once in a while and turn it. Well, every day you're supposed to turn it. I break my neck on the cord that's it for that we're not done we are not done well today appears to be nothing more than a maintenance day or a cleanup day I knew I had to fix a compost pile machine builder box because it just wasn't working the other thing I got to do is the floor in the gun cabinet build I got uh, some rubber mat down there on the floor that stuff is tough. I mean, it is tough. I got to cut a piece to put it in the bottom there. So my guns don't sit on the metal. They sit on the floor. Also, you ready for this? I'm just walking up here now. I get a vibration in my left rear. Have a look at this. We are losing the tread on the Under Armors. Now, I can't complain. I've, I've had these wheels for probably four years and they're just starting to separate now but the price of gas I got a fix for that so after I get done cutting this we're gonna fix the wheels and it ain't cuz I'm cheap it's cuz I'm frugal this is the same thing as cheap but it sounds better saying frugal wife well, says I'm cheap well, I'm not going to make you all sit there and watch me struggle to cut this horse mat. If you've all cut horse mat before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have cut it before. Now, I've tried circular saw. I've tried the cutting wheel. I've tried the I don't give a damn. None of them worked. The reason they don't work is because they create friction. It gets hot. Start to melt together. Slows the blades down. Took this guy a while to learn that. Anyway, how do you cut a horse mat? An exacto knife. That is correct. An exacto knife. Once you get your marks on there, you just keep running it over on the marks. And eventually, you're through it. And when I say eventually, I'm not talking two or three days. I'm just saying eventually you will get through it and a whole lot less mess. No flying rubber, no nothing. I'm going to spare you watching me do this and put this in the gun cabinet because that's not the most exciting thing in the world so that is going to be it for this video once this is in the cabinet and it's done i'll show you the finished product in another video keep waving that around i'm gonna hurt myself but if you stuck around till the end here i appreciate it very much if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button down below we would appreciate having you along and what projects you got on the go at home leave me a comment i'd like to know subscribe button like button share button we'll see you all in the next one later